Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. I wanted to go over a loadout that, you know, my team's been using a lot. Um, it's our Ion Objective build. Now, this ship has three places it can really be used in a fleet battle. Um, one is uh, on defense and frigates. And you can put it on the Corvette Raider, take down its shield, so your opponents can basically finish it from there. Um, two on the frigate stage to take down the shields on both of them, and three to take down the shields on the capital ship. So this gives you a big payload to do it. Now, where I think it really shines is when you're making your attack runs on the frigates. Um, if you just go with like a boost extension kit and a torpedo, then it might not actually give you enough to take down both shields on both frigates in one run. So I'm gonna go over the strategy to do that and also the build to achieve that in this video. So thanks a lot for checking it out. Something I wanna do more on the channel here is doing more features about a different loadouts that you can use and situational loadouts and maybe Specific loadouts where you don't need to switch, just all these different types of loadouts and, and thinking about it. So this is the first one that I'm looking at here. Um, I basically do the same thing in the X-Wing and the TIE Fighter. I will go over that one um, afterwards too, but it's basically the same uh, thing here. You can debate about which, which engine you want to use basically, but the main and most important thing is that you use your Ion Cannon, an Ion Torpedo, and an Ion Rocket. Um, having the rockets basically allows you to take out the other frigate you use the torpedo on the frigate that the corvette and raider isn't on uh it's usually less guarded plus the because the other one has the frigate so people will be focusing on attacking it you'll have players protecting it so it will draw players to that side so you use the torpedo on the other one to fully drop the shields on that one because the the frigate or uh, that the Raider or Corvette is attacking will be taking some damage. So that's the one that you use the rockets and your ion lasers to take down. So the torpedo and lasers on the first one, and then you go to the first, you hit that one, that the, the Raider or Corvette isn't attacking, take it down with the torpedo, then you swing over to the other one that the Corvette or Raider is attacking, and you hit it with ion and dumb rockets. So here, we'll actually go right in and look at it. Like I said, the primary weapon here is the ion cannon. The auxiliary on the left is the ion torpedo. On the right is the ion rockets. That's basically what you need. Uh, countermeasures, chaff is, is king right now in the community. You gotta be using chaff defensively. You gotta have chaff on your ships. Uh, reflect hall, just gives me, I mean, a lot of teams are using mask and beacon. Um, my team tended not to, so I think reflex hall, reflect hall was a must on almost all of our ships that we can have it just to you know, all our objective ships would use it just to hide. That we're coming in gives you that little bit more safety that you can definitely, definitely capitalize on. And where there's some debate is definitely the engine that you use. I've got just the standard engine, basically the twin ion on here. Um, I was using propulsion a lot and slam engine. People are making the case for the jet engine. I think I could do a whole video on what engine to use, when and why, basically. But right now, I think for this ship, the standard engine definitely gets the job done. You really just, you just need to get in, make those quick little runs on them and get out. You can really do it easily and fast. You usually won't get targeted. I mean, even if you do, you should be able to, you know, it's usually after you've launched the torpedo, you've really got to make sure that hits. You can't let that get shot down. Uh, you got you to gotta launch it at about 450 to, to make sure you minimize any opportunity for your opponents to shoot it down. And... The rocket then is very safe. I mean, even if you die but you take down the shields, it's a worthwhile trip, I think, because your whole team can then focus whichever one they need to and take it out as quickly as possible. Yeah, like I was saying, first we know that the Corvette's going towards Delta. We're going to lock in to go towards Charlie here, and we're going to knock it with the Ion Torpedo first. You know, as soon as we get in range, we start hitting it with Ions, and we got our lock on, we move in, we release it at 4. Ooh, kind of bump that guy a little bit. That's not good. Then we target over here. We're already taking some. We see that it's pretty low, and then we take it in. We start hitting it with the rockets. It's taking damage as well. So we got it. 
almost all the way down. We gotta do one more little turn on it. And then we gotta bail, and we got it. Almost all the way down. Now, I didn't unload enough on my payload, but you can see basically the raider damage is gonna get it down. The other one was already knocked away from the torpedo. That's the basic idea with the run. You just kind of go through it like that um, and basically hit the one with the torpedo, then finish off your payload on the other one to get it all the way down. You see, I still had 15 left. If I was able to get those last five off, basically, it would have fully knocked them down. But even if you get it to, like, you know, 15, 20%, the Corvette or Raider is going to knock down that last little bit, basically, immediately afterwards. So I think it's kind of the ticket. That's basically my thinking on it, so... That's the way that I do the little ion run like that. I guess I didn't nail it absolutely there, but you get the idea. Now let's take a look uh, on the other side here. We'll switch to the Republic hangar just so I can show you the other version. It's the, the exact same. Obviously, the only real difference is that you now have shields on the Republic side. And yeah, that may cha change your engine decision, basically, because... I mean, I'm going the same way standard on both, but you, you can shunt to, to the Powers 2 engine, so it always gives you kind of a quicker escape on Empire. And I'm not using a boost extension kit for this ion run, so it does limit you. Sometimes I'll do that on my Republic ships just to give myself the escape ability that I feel like I have with the Empire to balance them out. But yeah, the only difference I'm using the resonant shield is just to you know keep lasers fully charged as much as possible. Same setup, you know, article. Uh, got the deflector hall here. Uh, instead of the reflect doing the same thing and then yeah standard engine so we see it's the exact same setup it's just about uh, quickly getting in the ship i mean sometimes that's the only problem with it switching to a ship like this that's so specialized is a time killer so you got to make sure that your timing is right you're anticipating the phase flip so that you get into the ship before the phase flips happen be you know on your way to deliver your payload as it flips you know you don't want to be flipping you're halfway out you got to come back switch into the ship then go on your run or like if you've just taken over the frigates and you're at half morale you're gonna waste and you need the ship back out there to take out shield something or something maybe the mc-75 or whatever your strategy is on the isd to drop shield i don't know i'm just saying in doing that switch into the ship is time consuming so you you do have to consider that time lost when you go into that ship is it effective at the jobs it needs to be done? 100%. You should definitely be able to achieve your goals if you're looking to take down shields on any capital ship with this bad boy. So thanks a lot for checking out this video. Just a quick little one, given my thoughts on it and how I use it. So I, I just definitely wanted to put that out there. Thanks a lot for checking out the video. I'm Time Bomb. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you guys later. Move.